everyone let us discuss this example in this example we have to solve this double integration using polar coordinates so what we have we have this integral okay so what will we do first of all we will try to find the region of integration after that we will convert it in polar form by putting x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta and uh, then we solve the example okay double integration in r and theta so let us find the given region of integration okay so what we write so we have this integral so inner integration with respect to x so we have limits of x here x is equal to x is equal to and outer integration with respect to y so these are limits of y okay so let me write the given region is bounded by so given region is bounded by so the first we have x is equal to square root of 4 minus y square so you know that we we try to remove that square root by taking square of both sides so therefore x square is equal to 4 minus y square let us take that y square on this side so x square plus y square is equal to 4 right so this is standard equation of circle with center origin and radius radius 2 getting so 4 is a square of 2 so that's why let me mention here so this is a circle with center 0 0 and radius 2 okay so let me draw a circle here with center 0 0 radius 2 so i am drawing a rough sketch of circle circle will be like this okay so this is a rough sketch of circle so let me draw it properly this one okay so this is a circle with center 0 0 radius 2 let us go further after that we have x is equal to y so x is equal to y power of x is 1 power of y is also 1 so it represents a line this is a line so how to draw a line so we need to have any two points on a line so by joining them we will have a straight line so let us find any two points on a line so for that i am drawing this table okay so x y and x y you can put here any value of x if i put x is equal to 0 so value of y will be 0 obviously the point is 0 0 that means that line passes through origin now i will put x is equal to 1 so value of y will be 1 so the point is 1 1 that means line passes through 1 1 okay so let me draw a line so this line we have okay so y is equal to x y is equal to x and equation of circle is x square plus y square is equal to 4 okay so we are uh, interested to know the point of intersection how to find a point of intersection technique is very simple we put one equation in second equation let us do that to find let me mention to find point of intersection intersection we put we put one first equation i will put x is equal to y in second equation x square plus y square is equal to 4 see what will we have if i put x is equal to y here we will have y square plus y square is equal to 4 so y square is equal to 2 right since 2y square is equal to 4 2 to cancel so y is equal to plus minus root 2 okay by taking square root of both sides so let us find the value of x for y is equal to root 2 so you can put this value of y in any uh, any one of these two equations See, I'm going to put it here. So value of x will be root 2. So x is equal to root 2. So we have got a first point. Point is root 2 comma root 2. Okay, so and for let us find a second point. y is equal to minus root 2. If I put y is equal to minus root 2 here, the value of x will be minus root 2 again. So x is equal to minus root 2. Okay, so the point of intersection is point is uh, minus root 2 minus root 2. Okay, so we got two points root 2 comma root 2 will be here root 2 comma root 2 so this is first point and second point minus root 2 comma minus root 2 let us go further okay since we have considered these two equations only let us go for this y is equal to 0 and y is equal to root 2 okay there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so now we have two more equations okay so y is equal to 0 so y is equal to 0 this is equation of x axis so let me write here x axis so that means region is bounded by y is equal to 0 x axis also right next y is equal to root 2 okay upper limit if you consider so this is an equation of line parallel to x axis so we have a second line 
parallel to x-axis getting and passes through y is equal to root 2. See, uh, this point is also root 2 comma root 2. Here the y coordinate is root 2. That means line passes through this point also. Okay, so let me draw a line here. So we have line like this. Okay, this one. Yes, this, so this is y is equal to root 2. Okay, so y is equal to 0, y is equal to root 2. So region is bounded by y is equal to root 2, y is equal to 0. That means between these two lines. Region is bounded by part of circle and region is bounded by this line also as well as if you are still confused what will be the region of integration we have a one more technique also. See the given integral the inner integration with respect to x that means given strip is parallel to x axis right. So what we always say bounded below bounded above getting so strip is bounded below by a line x is equal to y strip is bounded below okay by a line x is equal to y that means strip should be here then only it will be bounded below by this line okay since it is parallel to x axis and bounded above by a part of circle so yeah it will satisfy the condition getting so that means this region satisfy all conditions so this will be the region of integration okay so this is a given region of integration so after that we have to convert a problem in polar coordinates so for that what we have to put yeah will you tell me what we have to put here x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta and obviously because of the substitution we get dx dy is equal to r dr d theta. So r is the value of Jacobian here after substitution we get the value of Jacobian which is r here okay. So you know that one more thing that is in polar coordinates we always draw a strip which starts at origin. So strip will be like this okay. So yes this is a strip. So, uh, it is always starts at origin, it, it will move like this and it will cover the entire region of integration, okay. So, see, let us find the limits now, then, limits of r, limits of theta. Strip is bounded below by origin, so here the value of r is 0. Strip is bounded above, getting, so by a part of circle. So, we have a circle. So, what will we do first, we will convert the equation of circle in a polar form and then we will write a limits here, okay. So, just a minute, let me remove this one. First of all, we will convert equations in polar form. So, we have, we have, what is the first equation? Let us convert equations, x square plus y square is equal to 4. So, we have this equation of circle. I am putting x is equal to r cos theta, so r cos theta but square is there and y is equal to r sin theta but again it has square which is equal to 4. Shall I take that r square common? Yes, definitely. And if we do that, in bracket we will have cos square plus sin square which is 1. So therefore, let me write here, therefore r square is equal to 4. So therefore r is equal to what? 2. You cannot say r is equal to plus minus 2, getting r is a radius so cannot be negative. So, value of, uh, sorry, equation of circle in polar form is r is equal to 2, okay. So, we have one more equation that is equation of line. Let us find its equation in polar form. We have, let me write, what is the equation of line? y is equal to x. Let us put the values of x and y. So, r cos theta, so it's actually y is equal to r sin theta, okay. I should write r sin theta is equal to r cos theta. RR will get cancelled, so sin theta is equal to cos theta. Let us shift cos theta on this side, so tan theta is equal to 1, okay. So, for what value of theta, value of tan will be 1, it is pi by 4. So, therefore, theta is equal to pi by 4, okay. So, theta is equal to pi by 4, so the equation of this line is we can say theta is equal to pi by 4, okay. I should write on that side. So, here let me write theta is equal to pi by 4. So, let us find limits now, now we easily we can find. Then limits of r, limits of theta. So strip is bounded below by origin. So here the value of r is 0 and strip is bounded above by a part of circle whose equation is r is equal to 2. So r should vary from 0 to 2, right? Now strip will move like this. It will start at positive x-axis, okay? It will move like this and it will cover the entire region of integration and it should stop at this line since the region of integration finishes there. So it starts here where the value of theta is 0, angle is 0 and at this line strip will stop where the angle is pi by 4. So in this way we got limits of r and theta, r varies from 0 to 2 and theta varies from 0 to pi by 4, okay. 
there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so now we are expressing the given integral in polar form okay so inner integration with respect to r and outer integration with respect to theta so limits of r from 0 to 2 th theta are 0 to pi by 4 so i wrote the same so what we have the function here r uh, sorry x means r cos theta right y means r sin theta and dx dy means r dr d theta so let us solve it further 0 to pi by 4 so when you integrate with respect to r theta and all functions of theta will be constant so that's why cos theta and sin theta will come outside sin theta and cos theta will be outside the integral 0 to 2 r r r three times that means r cube dr d theta what is the integration of r cube yes it is yes it is r s to 4 by 4 okay with limit 0 to 2 d theta let us solve it further if i put upper limit 2 raised to 4 that means 16 by 4 that means 4 only if i put lower limit 0 we will have 0 so let me write 4 4 0 to pi by 4 sin theta cos theta d theta let me adjust 2 here huh? uh, 4 means 2 into 2 1 2 i am going to take inside the integration so we will have 2 integration 0 to pi by 4 2 sin theta cos theta d theta are you familiar with that formula 2 sin theta cos theta this is formula of sin 2 theta let me write it here so 2 sorry i should write integration here okay just a minute huh? so 0 to pi by 4 it will be sin 2 theta d theta what is the integration of sin minus cos so let me write minus outside cos 2 theta by 2 with limit 0 to pi by 4 so what will happen that 2 2 will get cancelled okay so just to make a screenshot of it so let us solve it further okay so 2 2 will get cancelled minus sign will be outside okay i'm putting a upper limit cos so if i put uh, pi by 4 2 2 will get cancel and we will have pi by 2 minus cos 0 okay so you know that cos uh, okay so here is minus sign outside cos pi by 2 is 0 cos 0 is 1 so minus minus plus 1 so the value of given integral is 1 okay make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye